guys, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you a very simple and easy dessert that you can whip up in no time and it definitely is a crowd pleaser. It utilizes my almond filling that I've made. Um, I've used this in my almond croissants and it is to die for. Very delicious and very simple to make. Um, of course, I always have puff pastry in my freezer and you should too because if you're in a pinch and you need to make a quick dessert to serve with coffee or tea, um, puff pastry is like a go-to thing to have in the freezer, especially to make this recipe right here. So we have puff pastry, a little bit of sugar, some salt, we're going to need the zest of an orange, pure almond extract, a little bit of unsalted butter, one whole egg, some sliced almonds, and almond paste. Now almond paste is usually sold in the baking section of your supermarket. If it's hard to find, I'll link down below on how you can make it yourself. I'll, send, uh, I'll show you a quick recipe or I'll link to um, a, an online website where they can teach you how to do that. But I'm doing this all in my stand mixer and if you don't have one you can definitely use a hand mixer to whip this up all together or even a bowl and a wooden spoon will do this fine but a hand mixer makes things so much easier. So I'm going to pop my uh, marzipan in here. It's about 8 ounces but all of the uh, measurements are always on my website. We're going to put the butter, a little pinch of salt, so about a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to beat this in my mixer until everything is nice and smooth. So I'm also going to add a little bit of almond extract in here and my egg and that should help bind everything up and make a nice smooth creamy mixture. And to freshen this very flavorful filling up, I'm just going to zest an orange. You can use lemon if you like. I just love the combination of orange and almond. And I'm going to use my handy dandy microplane here. If you don't have one, make sure you get yourself one. I'll put the link down below of where you can find one online. And then just mix it all up. So this amount of filling is good to fill both of these puff pastry sheets. Um, my package that I buy here in the States comes with uh, two ready to use puff pastry sheets. They're, each one is about a quarter of a sheet thick uh, wide, so that's sort of like if you have a sheet pan, this is a half sheet pan, um, there would be a quarter. So both of them would fill up this whole sheet pan. Sometimes, like when I buy from, for a restaurant, they come uh, a full half sheet pan the size that fills a full half sheet pan. So if you get one of those bigger sheets, it'll fill one big one. And it makes about 18 to maybe 22 pommiers, um, which is just the right amount. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make, form them. And then the other one, I'm just going to fill it for you and um, keep it in my freezer. So I'm just going to roll it out just a little bit so it's more of a rectangular shape like that. You want to make sure that your puff pastry sheets have defrosted and they've come to almost room temperature. We're going to take half of the filling and I'm just going to spread it on here. So it's much easier to spread if you're using a little offset spatula. And then you're going to take about a quarter cup of sliced almonds and sprinkle them on top. Just like that. And then we're just going to roll it. And then I'll flip it around and roll this side as well. This will get you those heart-shaped or elephant ear-shaped cookies. Set this one outside, aside and I'll do the same thing with the second one. So here I have two rolls of cookies ready. 
I'm only gonna use one of them because I really don't need that many cookies right now in my house. So I'm gonna take one of the batches and I'm just gonna wrap it in saran wrap and I'm gonna keep it in my freezer for whenever I really need to make some cookies. Now I'll wrap it one more time later on, but for now I'll set it aside. And then you just wanna take some sugar and dust it on top. Now, you can go ahead and slice them just like this as is, or you can refrigerate them or freeze them until the dough is a little bit firmer. That makes it much easier to slice, but it's totally doable just like this. You wanna make sure your oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper ready to go. And we're gonna slice about nine to 10 cookies using this dough right here. And what I like to do is even sprinkle a little bit more sugar onto my baking, onto my surface right here, my work surface, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna take each cookie and press it onto my sugar, onto the sugar that's over here on my board. And I'm gonna put these in my oven and I'm gonna bake them until they're nice and golden on top. That's gonna to take anywhere between 25 to 35 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So they're done baking, they're out of the oven. You wanna make sure they cool completely. But let me show you the color that you're looking for. You want them to be nice and golden brown, just like so, and, and nice and crisp too. You don't want them to be pale because then they're gonna taste kind of stale once they cool down. This is perfection. So now, it depends on your oven. It's gonna take anywhere between 25 to 35 minutes, more or less, depends on the heat. You wanna make sure that they bake in the middle rack so that way they bake evenly throughout. And these are perfect for serving with a cup of tea. They're even really nice to give us party favors. So if you're hosting a, a tea party of any kind, a bridal shower or a baby shower, put a few of these in a beautiful clear bag and give these to your guests and they're gonna be really happy and they're gonna think of you when they're having tea or coffee the next day. I have to have a bite of this. Mm. These are perfect. They're crisp and then they're chewy inside. You get a lot of almond flavor. I'm gonna put the link to the recipe in the description box down below. As always, you can get this recipe and more with all the exact measurements, www.demetriusdishes.com. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Let me know what, what, what you'd like to learn how to make next in the comments section down below. Subscribe so you don't miss a recipe and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.